All right, guys. <clears throat> Welcome. Look what I got in the email. The uh, email today. Look what I got in the email today. Just emailed right over to me. Um, <clears throat> these are from a previous uh, video that I made. These are the um, Swiss Army knives. These are the Swiss Army knives that I get that I ordered, and I'm gonna need a uh, multi-tool to get out the multi-tools. So. Let me just go ahead and open these and see what's inside as you see what I see. And we'll uh, kind of check it out together here. This is, uh, this is my backup multiplier. <clears throat> this Gerber here. It's a backup. It's brand new. It's because I don't like it. I got this in a package deal and uh, did not like it at all. So it's still brand new. Hardly ever used. But uh, anywho, here is here is the content contents of the first box. So I guess we gotta go deep. We gotta go deeper. We gotta go deeper, I said. But uh, here we go. So this one is see which one is this one? This one is the Champ. This one's the Swiss Champ. I thought, I honestly thought the Swiss Champ was going to be uh, bigger than this, and I also uh, expected it to be in a more, I don't know, impressive, impressive box. I was kind of expecting something, you know, I don't know, something a little bit more impressive than just a box and then just a like cheap thin cardboard box I'm kind of disappointed about that but uh, anyway here is the uh, here is the champ Swiss Army knife champ yeah we'll go into this uh, in depth in another video for sure but uh, just wanted to oh my god okay so we've already got an issue here already Trying to get these blades out is a bit of a bit of a hard ship. It's looking like so that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty cool. And then yeah, I can see how some of these are going to be kind of <coughs> difficult to get out of here, huh? But uh, yeah, it's got a lanyard ring on it, uh, tweezers, and uh, one of these is a pen. Uh, tweezers. I'm not really supposed to be going over this like this. Toothpick. Is this the pen? Yeah, there's the ballpoint pen, which is, I don't know, kind of weird. Kind of weird to have a ballpoint pen. I guess I'm not complaining about it. It's got a straight pen as well. A little tiny. I don't know, man. I'm kind of digging this. I mean, this kind of has everything you, everything you freaking need in here, doesn't it? Is this, is this like a real deal? Real deal, Johnny. Johnny Wheel right here. Real deal. Yeah, that actually is a magnifying glass. Wow. What are these? These are the screwdrivers. A little bit of oil on there. Yep, there's oil on the on the blades. Can opener. Holy cow! This is the this is the pliers. Um. I guess I don't I don't really see the uh, pliers being useful for a whole lot I mean not for like I mean not for like what you'd the Gerber is such a pain in the ass man Gerber went downhill I got this Gerber because I had a my original multiplier that I ever had was uh, one of the first Gerbers and and I was like, well, I kind of like that. And then I got this, and I'm just like, holy moly, they have really stepped down a notch or two on these Gerbers. Anyway, cool new features. I mean, the blades lock and stuff now, but I mean, other than that, these are definitely not, not as good. Anyway, uh, what my point is, is when I brought this out, is yeah, that's the, you know, the, <clears throat> the Gerber... I mean that's kind of a small plier too, too, and this is you know quite a bit smaller than that even. But uh, yeah, we'll go into a, a in-depth 
situation on these. But uh, what I plan to do with this tool is I plan to use this, you know, like really use it, carry it with me and use it and see if it's just a ridiculous situation, like it's, you know, like it's not practical to carry, which I don't see that because it's, it doesn't feel that heavy to me or anything. These really are fingernail busters though, some of them. Yeah, there are some of them in here that that are hard to get out of here. Here's here's a strange uh, tool in here that I just I don't know. I just don't know what you'd use that for, but I mean, I guess you never know, right? That's uh, something there. Then you got the corkscrew, which I do use. I'm a wine drinker, so having a corkscrew is kind of oh wow, that's kind of a cool tool right there. I had no intention of going through this like this, guys. I meant to just open and look at it, but I'm, I'm so, like, I think it's so cool. And, and I actually am really impressed that I just can't put it down. I'm actually going through this. This is, this is not a screwdriver. This is like a chisel. This is like a, like a scraping chisel tool. That is, uh, man, that is pretty awesome. And then here's a, a small screwdriver, a tiny screwdriver. That's not even the smallest screwdriver on this thing. That is... Dude. I don't know, the only thing I can uh, see as being a problem so far is... Uh, is that, you know, the awkward uh, angle things are kind of sitting in here, you know? Kind of, you know, kind of being... Uh, in a T situation, you know what I mean? Like the tools are in here. Oh, what the hell? Okay, that's a ruler and a f fish scaler. A ruler and a fish scaler. Huh. But that makes some short work of some bread too, I'll bet. The scissors are in here, but I haven't figured out. Oh, okay, here we go. Let me get to let me get to the scissors and see what the deal is. Do I have to put this? Yeah, I better leave this. Better leave this out in order to get to the rest of the. Sh All right, so you put that down. I mean, I'm sure you get the hang of this after a while, you know. Holy cow! That looks like that really does look like a useful pair of scissors. Like no joke. That really does look like a useful pair of scissors. I'll be damned. I was not expecting this to even be close to working out for me. I have to be honest with you. I mean, I just thought that I was just going to buy this and make kind of a video out of it. But it's starting to look like I was wrong. There, look at that saw, dude. Wow, that is a fucking no joke saw right there. Huh. Trying to get to the file. The file is a bit. Oh, got it. Okay, there's a trick to it. Okay, gotcha. No way. That's a metal. That's a metal saw on there, dude. There's some like a. Is that like a hacksaw? Wow. One side is a fingernail file. Or it would seem, and the other one is like super, super coarse on the other side. Ah, oh, that's crazy. That's a really useful file right there. And then the main blade. You just got to work it to where you can get to this main blade a little, a little easier. Right now, everything's really tight. And with the saw down, can I get the? Yeah, see, with the saw down. It's hard. It's hard to get. The, I think that'll just that just needs you know worked out a little bit work, a little bit uh, work. Now, some of these tools <clears throat> need loosened up on what I was trying to spit out. Some of these tools on the back uh, are just simply a matter of uh, trying to uh, you know uh, get them broke in. Like there's a tool right here. I have no idea what it is. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a tool here or here. There is one here though. 
hell is that? Okay, let's put this down. There it is. So you got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five tools on the back. And this one is not easy to get out, man. Oh, I was trying to grab it from the wrong spot. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. The reamer. The reamer so, so thingy. That's pretty cool. Way more impressed with this thing than I thought I was going to be. And it's not as big and uh, hefty as I thought it was uh, going to be, that everybody made it out to be. I mean, it's the same exact width as the Gerber. And it's, you know, as you can see, shorter than the Gerber. Um, it is wider than the Gerber, but not by you know, leaps and bounds or anything. This is a small multi-tool too. I mean, this isn't a very big one at all. This is a small one, so I mean, it's a little wider, but in every other dimension it's smaller. I mean, they're about the same in that dimension. The only, the only one where it's a little bit bigger, a little bit wider, is this direction here. Hmm. I don't know, man. I'm a little more impressed than I than I thought I was going to be, other than the box. But anyway, all right. So let's put that aside. I'm gonna I'm gonna start carrying that immediately, starting like right now. Not sure about the weight though. I'm not sure where my scale is. I need to break out my scale real quick and uh, weigh these. But uh, yeah, so there's that one. Let me uh, let me use my new uh, my new multi tool to get out the. Uh, it would have been better if it was right there because of this. Anyway, so here's the main blade. And, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, whoo, that was sharp. Cut through there like greased lightning. This one is one of the ones I was just sitting around in my chair after I bought this one and went, man, this one might be too big. It might be ridiculous. I might not even be able to carry it. Let me, uh, let me get one of the more reasonable sized ones in case that's the case. So this one's used, but supposedly pretty good shape. I plan, if I like it, I plan to get new uh, new scales for it and make it look like brand new. Um, all right, so let me uh, close this, and this will give us some contrast as to what happens to one of these Swiss Army knives when they're used quite a bit. Hmm. Yeah, okay. This is a much smaller one. This one is the Hunter. This one is the Hunter. I'm trying to figure out what its claim to fame is here. There's that hook again. Yeah, I just can't figure out what would that, I mean, just don't know what that would be good for. I can't think of a scenario where I, you know, where I, I'm glad to have that. Okay, there's the reamer. Yeah, this is going to need bottle opener right there. Can opener, no, screwdriver. Oh yeah, screwdriver, cap lifter. Okay, what else is in here? Is that a pair of scissors in there? A pair of scissors right there. You there. I guess that's what they what they work like when you get them broke in. That's pretty sweet right there. Well, yeah, if it long doesn't miss the spring. Yeah, these just need tightened up a little bit. They're a little loose. They're a little loose, but uh, yeah. But anyway, I guess that's what the scissors are supposed to kind of work like. And I guess, screwdriver, did I already pull that out? Yep, can opener. Where's the main blade? Here's the small blade. Still sharp as fuck. Sharp as hell. Oh, this one's a little duller. Looks like this one was the blade used most often. 
Yeah, but I can totally, uh, I can totally clean this, uh, this tool up, make it look brand new, get new scales for it, and you wouldn't be able to tell it from a new one when I'm done with it. So, yeah. But the, the main blade definitely, definitely needs uh, sharpened. Yeah, it's a little dull, especially towards the back right here. But anyway, so there you have it. Let me kind of give you an idea. This is a <clears throat> this is uh, it's the Hunter, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I have to look, but I'm pretty sure it's the Hunter. Um, and just kind of showing you the difference in its size. Here's the yeah. So it's almost. So it's all this this one's almost two of these basically it's this one's like double the size or almost double the size almost just shy of double the size the width wise of course they're the same this you know they're the same this way same scales and everything um, as far as weight goes yeah this one's you know you know a lot heavier no doubt I mean you can feel it it's noticeably heavier this is almost nothing you can throw this in your pocket and pfft, you wouldn't even know it was there I mean it wouldn't be no big deal um, yeah so I guess in every other dimension you know they're the same it's just the just how wide they are based based on how many tools are in there but just to give you an idea this is literally feels like twice as heavy and twice as wide and you know I'm a big guy so like I could probably stick that in my pocket if I wanted to I'm not going to but um, I could probably stick that in my pocket and it not be a big deal you know tell you the truth I don't know if I'd get tired of it after a while but yeah I think I could totally put that in my pocket and it'd be no big deal this one totally could you put you put this in the in your pocket and it disappears and you don't even know it's there that's how I feel about this one yep yeah, I might not even get new scales for this. I don't even know if it's worth my money to do that. I might just use the hell out of this one. I got it cheap. I paid like $12 for it. 12 bucks. And after seeing it, yeah, I'm not sure I'd pay. Yeah, I mean it's in I mean it's in okay shape. It's not it's not in fantastic shape and it's not clean. I wish the guy who you know, when you go to sell something to somebody that you kind of, you know, clean up your, clean up your product, I guess. But it is what it is, not a big deal. But anyway, yeah, there they are. And I'm going to start carrying them and then I'll uh, report back. Uh, the only thing I want to tell you about the, uh, um, I ordered the uh, Leatherman rebar and it got here and it was defective. Um, so I sent it back and uh, got my refund. You know, I, I got it. I got the refund right when they scanned it in. You know, if you've ever dealt with Amazon, you know how that works. And I didn't reorder it. After seeing it, um, I decided I'm going uh, all out. Um, after seeing the rebar, it just uh, you know I would probably if it would have come and it was uh, and and you know. And it wasn't defective, which I'll, I'll put up a picture of the of the defect. Uh, the spring, uh, not the spring, the washer uh, during assembly did not get uh, properly assembled and got jammed in the handle <clears throat> in the arm of the plier there. Um, so I had to send it back. There's no way to fix it because you can't take it apart. Um, I tweeted over the situation in the picture to. Um, to Leatherman and their response was oh whoops I mean this is their exact response I mean it was oops uh, you can take that back to the store or the warranty will take care of it that was their response I'm not you know not really certain if that was a good enough response or that response made me happy in any way as a customer to see a manufacturing defect in, a, in, a, in an elite company like that you know what I consider to be an elite company you know there are certain companies out there where you just expect not to see that kind of thing and I feel that Leatherman is one of those American companies 
that I kind of feel that about. And I was not, I guess I personally was not happy with the response and I'm not, I'm not certain what response would have made me happy. You know, anything short of, uh, you know, uh, here's a, you know, sorry for the inconvenience. Here's a, f you know, a free rebar for your trouble or something like that. That's the, I, you know, of course that would have made me happy, but you know, I don't know if that was, you know, that's probably not realistic. Um, yeah, I'm going to get something else. That's, that's how I feel about it after, uh, after everything is said and done. But uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching this. Remember to, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. If you like the videos, thumb it up. Thumb it up, please. Really do appreciate the thumbs up. And we'll get back to you as soon as we can on some more of these, uh, some more of these comparisons on these knives after I've carried them and used them in real life. Uh, not just showing them to you and, and the blades and stuff, but I'm going to use these. I'm a, a pretty much a lifelong multiplier guy. My, you know, I've had a multiplier for years and years and years and years. And I have my original multiplier I ever got. I still have it. Um, so uh, I'm going to try a Swiss Army knife just because I'm curious as to what that's like to carry one of these. So I'm going to do that. We'll come back with, uh, with some more thoughts on the situation uh, a little bit later. Thanks for watching.